Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the DA-50RG is the ASA certified. The FAA proposes a civil penalty against the Collings Foundation, and Vans Aircraft shuts down temporarily due to wildfires. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. EASA has certified Diamond Aircraft's DA-50RG single-engine piston with retractable gear paving the way for initial EASA customer deliveries in quarter one of 2021. The DA50RG is powered by the EASA certified twin turbocharged, liquid-cooled six-cylinder 300 horsepower Continental CD300 with common rail direct injection, offering a dual redundant FADEX system, integrated gear box, and propeller governor. Pilots will benefit from the easier engine operations, unique high altitude performance, globally available jet fuel, and low fuel consumption of just 9 US gallons an hour at a maximum range. The all carbon composite airframe of the DA 50RG incorporates advanced aerodynamics with passive safety technology and superior occupant protection. The roomy interior features ergonomic, genuine leather seats a 60-40 split folding three-seat second row bench, middle arm rests overhead LED interior lightweight and many optional features. Team leader civil aircraft sales at Diamond Aircraft, Reinhard Schweiger said, Diamond is now going to start working on FAA certification, which they are expecting to get by the end of 2021. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. UAvionics has completed the STC process for AV30C panel display. The AV30C is installed with either an AI or DG and adds a suite of in-flight information to the panel right out of the box, including a probeless angle of attack indicator, borrow corrected altitude, indicated vertical or true air speed, non-slaved heading, bus voltage, G load, and GPS national data. AV30C is designed to fit into nearly any aircraft, with a 3 and 1 8 inch round installment slot without cutting or modifying the panel. Rocket Lab has been granted a 5-year launch operator license by the FAA, allowing for multiple launches of the Electron Launch Vehicle from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 2. This will eliminate the need to obtain individual launch-specific licenses for every mission, while helping to streamline the path to orbit and enable responsive space access from U.S. soil. Located at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Space Port within NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, Launch Complex 2 has been developed to support U.S. government missions, and between it and Launch Complex 1 located in New Zealand, Rocket Lab can support up to 130 launches each year. Boom Supersonic has been awarded a contract by the U.S. Air Force, which will fund explorations of an Overture configuration designed for Air Force executive transport. Overture will offer the Air Force a unique combination of passenger capacity, speed, and enough space and power to accommodate the requirements of necessary mission systems. Boom founder and CEO Blake Scholl stated, By cutting travel times, we make it possible for U.S. diplomats and executive leaders to connect more frequently in person, meeting challenges and diffusing potential crises with a personal touch. 
The FAA has announced an Aviation Maintenance Technical Workforce Development Grant Program to increase interest and recruit students for careers in aviation maintenance. The goal is to provide grants to academia and the aviation community to help prepare a more inclusive talent pool of aviation maintenance technicians to inspire and recruit the next generation of aviation professionals. Congress appropriated $5 million in fiscal year 2020 to fund projects to address the projected shortages of aviation maintenance technical workers in the aviation industry. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo Power Plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Introducing the new ELT 345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter, or ELT, boasts an industry low price while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing that you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The FAA has proposed a $247,000 civil penalty against the Collings Foundation of So, Massachusetts for allegedly conducting unauthorized flights in a P-51D Mustang airplane. The Mustang in question is a limited category aircraft and FAA regulations prohibit charging people for flights in this category of aircraft. The FAA alleges that between January 17th and January 30th of this year, the Foundation improperly operated the Mustang on 26 flights, carrying people to charge for flight training. The FAA also alleges that before operations occurred, FAA inspectors advised the Foundation such flights would violate their regulations. The Collings Foundation now is 30 days after receiving the FAA's enforcement letter to respond to the agency. The Foundation has had a bad run of luck since an October 2019 accident, with their B-17 resulted in the deaths of seven of 13 people on board, already the subject of at least three known lawsuits and legal actions. The FAA has since suspended Collings operational exemption that allowed their conducting rides in their other aircraft. Due to the massive wildfires much of the West Coast has had to deal with, Vans Aircraft of Aurora, Oregon has had to close their headquarters down and send staff home due to the thick smoke and low air quality. Vans originally shut down on Wednesday with hopes of being able to reopen again this morning. However, they have had to extend their closure to give their team the time to take care of themselves and their families as many of Vans staff members have been forced to evacuate their homes due to ongoing wildfires. On Thursday, Vans posted this message onto their Facebook page. Vans, uh, we have shut down the factory for the day. Want to make sure everybody's aware of that. Uh, you can probably tell from the light here. Uh, and uh, in general, that the conditions are pretty poor. So to the south, the east of us, behind here, there are a lot of wildfires going on. And uh, in order to ensure that our employees any inconvenience that's involved in that, but uh, uh, as you can see, uh, it's less than optimal conditions right now. A lot of heavy smoke, uh, and a number of employees believe that the best thing that we could do, given the fluid situation, was to go ahead and shut down for the day. Uh, you can check slash status, so that's vansaircraft.com forward slash status, and we'll post updates there for... Uh, uh, what our operations are looking like. We are closed for the day. We hope to be able to open tomorrow, but we'll let you know by posting there. And of course, we'll also post updates on uh, Facebook and at Vans Air Force and on our website. And that was our last story for the week. We appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and for the latest aviation and aerospace news, head over to aero-news.net. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you again on Monday.